How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel Fast Hands Gaming. I'm your boy Fast. So today we're back on Clash of Beasts. So we're going to be going over the guild today and everything you need to know about the guild. So first off from your home page, you want to go to your kingdom. Now originally when you do this, if you're making your own guild, obviously you're not going to see all the different people that are on in your guild. However, my opinion is it's always going to be better for you to join a guild at this point in the game. It's typically level 5. But later on, obviously, guilds are going to start start to up the level that they want players to be at and obviously the re what they require. So first off, big thing to note is when you first get in here, that the beast health shrine here will be completely broken. What you need to do is you need to repair that if you want to give your team the self bonus. So how you do that is with expedition portals. Once these open up, you'll get... Uh, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I'll show you. This is a portal right here. What you get is this. This is Elenite. It's a material that you use to upgrade your clan, upgrade your research, and upgrade these shrines. Um, there's a beast health shrine, a beast attack shrine, and then there is also a tower and health shrine. So once those are all upgraded, then you continue to upgrade those, and it benefits the whole team. Then... What you can do is, obviously with the clan research, this is really important, especially if you're making your own guild, is you need everyone to be contributing to this. Because again, this helps out the whole team. And then obviously we have, as you see here, we have done tier one, this is tier two, tier three, and tier four. And then these are all have to be unlocked by upgrading and leveling up the clan research, which again, if you look here, needs the same material. So you need to prioritize what you guys want to be leveling up. And then obviously we have your clown hall. You go in here and it'll show all the details of your current clan. You can change your requirements and all the achievements that you guys have already gotten. You can also look at your members. Typically, um, I'm still playing on a uh, emulator because they've only released the game in Vietnam and the Philippines officially today. So hopefully America's coming soon because I would really like to get off an emulator and be playing on my phone. Um, but anyway, this is where you can look at all your players and their, <clears throat> their basically their activity level. And then you can have your daily rewards where your division, depending on which you're in, will give you. You can search the different teams and then you can look at invites. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the guild. It's actually really self-explanatory. Um, like I said, you just need to really focus on what you want to do. And then these are just where you want to move it. So you can move your base, your own home base, wherever you might want to. As you see, mine's right here. But anyway, guys, I hope that helps a little bit to navigate that. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Discord and or my YouTube channel. Again, that is Fast Hands Gaming. Um, we're still recruiting players for Hellhounds. We have this is going to be our third event that we're into. We've already taken two main events. We're looking to take a third. I hope you guys.